For this climbing hold, I'm starting off with some HDPE plastic from gallon jugs and other kinds of bottles that I've uh, cut down. I cut those bottles into smaller pieces and then I run that through a 12 sheet paper shredder that I got at Goodwill. As you can see, I'm just kind of folding it, the straggly bits in from the edges toward the center and then it all kind of peels off pretty easily. I uh, give it a couple twists and pulls and just to make sure I'm getting all the air bubbles out. While the plastic is melting, I typically tend to other pieces of the process. When I'm putting the grocery bags together, I'll put one inside of the other, kind of fold the two up, and then that's what I layer in with the plastic sheets. I found that when I use too many bags in, nested inside each other, it just kind of expands from all the air trapped inside too much and makes a mess inside the oven. After you get a variety of different plastics and grocery bags though, you start to see interesting colors emerging from the logos and colors from the bottles and everything. You can get good marbling patterns and get quite artistic with the composition. My gloves are covered in little hearts, so now all the holds that I make, I can say, are made with love. This one was also an experiment. I'm trying to capture uh, getting the logo onto the end product as well as I can. Since this, I've done some other ones that I've been a little more successful. I learned that I don't need to put that last piece of plastic on top because it just obscures the logo quite a bit. So with this last piece is melting, I am drilling holes in other previous ones. This is typically how plastic looks before I start to shape it. For most of the climbing holds I've made so far, I've been able to use my snake's water dish, which is made of stone. Water dish has become quite useful with making plastic climbing holds. Been able to generate a variety of shapes just using that little triangle. And after I shape it, I let it cool down for a while. Uh, a lot of times I'll put it in a water bath to help speed that cool down process. After it is cooled, I will drill a couple of holes in it, uh, large enough for me to use wood screws. I screwed the first batch to a beam in my basement to make sure everything holds body weight and nothing cracks under pressure and I found no issues with any climbing hold that I've made so far. Thank you for watching this little process video. There will be more to come soon.